This will be a series of videos whereby we go into the instructions required in order for you to be able to create a Node.js Express application and then deploy this Node.js Express application into an Azure app service using GitHub Actions. We will be implementing a kind of a GitHub Action CI CD workflows uh, to be able to deploy the infrastructure and the code required in order for you to be able to host this Node.js Express application. Now, I will stress this is a very simple Node.js Express application. We won't be delving into creating a crude application and or anything else beyond that. We will go into uh, kind of using environment variables and we'll be touching up on how you can use those and implement those into your Node.js Express application. However, it will be nothing beyond that. So if you're looking for anything a bit more technical, uh, you'll need to find another video uh, and or another kind of guide to be able to do that in order for you to be able to follow these videos you'll need to install git on your machine you'll also need to install node.js on your machine you'll also need to have a github account and an azure uh, account set up with an azure subscription if you've got all of those set up then you're ready to go so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head over to github.com and we're going to go into repositories and we're going to go ahead and create a new repository and I'm going to go ahead and type in my Node.js Express application. And then I'm going to make that a public repository. I'm going to add a readme and then I'm going to go ahead and create. Once you've done that, this will obviously have created as our repository. And so I want to then clone this repository on my machine. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I'm then going to go ahead and launch terminal. I'm then going to navigate to my favorite folder, which I like to save all of my projects into, which is uh, in my dev folder. And inside of my dev folder, I have a folder called tutorials. And in there, I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it. Um, actually, I'm not going to create a new folder. I'm going to let the folder I've created kind of uh, the repository I've created be the name of my folder so i'm going to go ahead and do a git clone and i'm going to paste the url i copied earlier so that's cloned into this folder my uh, repositories if i do an ls i can see my node.js application has been cloned on my machine so i'm going to chain directory into my node.js express application i'm then going to launch this in visual studio code once I've done that, I'm then going to launch my terminal. I'm then going to use the npx command to go ahead and scaffold my my uh, Node.js Express application. So I'm going to type in Node.js Express Generator, and I'm going to call it Node.js Express App. And I'm going to use the view flag, and I'm going to say the view is going to be the view is going to use the EJS, which stands for Embedded JavaScript template engine and the EJS uh, te template engine is usually uh, is, is what's popularly used in order for you to be able to create a Node.js and Express uh, Node.js Express application which is why we're using that just for those who are kind of new to the Node.js Express kind of ecosystem. Once we've done that uh, we will then do an npm install to install all of the all of the packages sorry we're going to first chain directory into my express application once we've done that we can then uh, run the npm install command which will install all of the packages required in order for us to be able to kind of run our application so once we've done that we can just then do an npm start which will start our application and we can then access that application if we go to localhost 3000 we can see uh, we've also got some kind of um, feedback in our terminal uh, and we've successfully managed to uh, create and also um, start up our application so the next thing we need to do is we don't want all of these files obviously to kind of uh, be included inside of our application so inside of the node.js uh, my express application i'm going to create a git ignore file and in there I'm just going to go ahead and type in Node.js Express. Okay, ignore. We'll just grab one. 
can copy that and we can paste that we can save that and as you can see it's now limited down to 11 uh, files so we're going to include everything here and we're going to say initial commit we're going to synchronize those changes we're going to go ahead and head over to our um, our repo hit refresh and as you can see we have initial an initial commit and it's included all of our files and our scaffolded node.js application so this is a good start